What is up guys? Today we have a really cool one for you. If you're out there riding a Yamaha Bolt, then you know that the gauge is very lackluster. It only shows you the how fast you're going and pretty much that's it. It's also a little hard to see in the sunlight. What we have here is a Coastal DL04 meter or a tachometer. Let's do a little unboxing. Now, it's nothing spectacular here because there's not a whole lot in this package. Everything for your COSO uh, tachometer is plug and play with the uh, stock gauge that's there. So it's very simple. So if we open up here and we take a look inside, we have instructions, which no one ever uses that. So we'll, we'll just throw that away. And then um, extra hardware, which you're gonna need. So we won't throw this away. I'm just gonna store this in my pocket so that I forget about it till later. And then of course, the gauge itself. Now look at that guys. That is going to be a beautiful looking gauge on there. Let's get some, uh, let's get some close up shots. So Koso actually makes this completely plug and play, which is awesome. So all you have to do is take off your stock gauge, which is going to have two bolts, one here and one on the other side. Um, they're eight millimeter, so that'll be easy. And then it has the plug switch, which is right here on the back, which will pull off once we disconnect everything. I do recommend putting down something to protect your tank. You don't really have to, just be careful, but uh, it is kind of a, a good thing to have there. This is going to be an eight millimeter um, bolt on either side just get it loose and then probably going to use my hand to take it out so i don't use the bolt and we didn't mention it earlier but you're going to want to pull your wires out of the little brackets here but that's super easy uh, nothing to that boom two bolts that's all there is to it and your gauge is freed all right so the next part once we get the two bolts off is to disconnect the actual harness itself, the wiring harness. What you're gonna wanna do is pull back the rubber grommet here, and you'll see there's a little plug in there, and it's got a lip right here. Just like most plugs, you take that, pinch it, and boom, just like that. Now you have it released, and what we're going to do is show you the next part about putting your bracket onto your new tachometer. Stock one, the new one. That looks better. Now we just need to change the bracket and put the stock bracket on our new one. So let's get right into that. It's very simple. You're just gonna come over here with the Phillips head and unscrew the bracket. I'm not making this up guys, it's that easy. Once you get all three screws out that are holding the bracket to your gauge, you just wanna lift it up off of there. Uh, be careful because it does have washers that will fall off and you don't wanna lose your washers because then you'll be looking for new ones. There's your mountain bracket. As you guys can see, it's gonna fit directly onto that one. Okay, so it might be self-explanatory for you guys, but if you look on here, the way the stock one came off, that's gonna be the top side. So when you look at yours here, it should be the same. So you have the one on the corner here, goes angled like this, and it goes on. As you guys can see, that would be the correct orientation when it goes back. Now, the next thing that's important is that little bag that I threw in my pocket earlier has uh, hardware with it. So you're gonna have three screws. Two of them are the same size, so each one of those is gonna get a washer. And then you have a long one. So that's important that you guys know that, that when you're installing this, the one directly across from the plug is going to have a spacer on it. So we just kind of slide it on there, Nothing too difficult there. We'll put our spacer in, just like that. And then of course, put our new uh, washers on here, like so. And remember, the long screw goes on the side with the spacer, and that's gonna be directly across from where the plug was. Now, if you guys wanna read the instructions, you could, but uh, I assume that by watching this video, you don't want to read instructions. You want us to read them for you. So don't worry, we did. One of the things that we just noticed is that these are not pre-threaded. Um, don't be afraid of that. 
just means that you're going to be threading it as you screw in the screws. Um, obviously don't over tighten it, it's just plastic and it's just holding together something that weighs like two pounds. So you don't need to over tighten anything. But don't be afraid when you realize that there's no threads. Just means you want to try to go in straight, put that in, just like that. We are all locked in place on this one. Something that I just noticed is that it's probably going to be quite a tight fit getting this in here but uh, I still think we'll be just fine getting it in. It's just the bracket's going to probably touch uh, the plug or at least the, uh, the out, outer bearing, which shouldn't be a problem. So let's get that in. Sorry guys, trying to figure out how to show you this, but also get it in there. <laughs> so for Seth's particular model, it's a 2015. I don't know if the brackets have changed over the years. However, his bracket sits in the way of plugging this in. Now we could have squeezed it in, but I find that it's just gonna be easier just to unscrew it remove the bracket out of the way and then go ahead and plug in everything that we need to plug in so that's how we're going to do it if you guys run into that same problem don't worry it's a very simple fix there you go we're plugged in now i'm going to put this down over the top it's kind of neat because coso uh, made this tachometer to fit just like the stock one does so you have a nice little fitment for the uh, rubber grommet over the top don't make the same mistake that we did Write down your mileage before you disconnect everything because otherwise then you'll be in the same boat reconnecting your stock one just to get your mileage on there. So simple if you do though, just unplug your COSO, plug back in your stock, turn it on and write down your mileage this time. In this case, Seth has 3,000, I'm sorry, 31,635 miles. It's documented, now we can add it. <laughs> All right, so the next step is just to reassemble from there. So we got everything plugged in. Now we're just gonna put the two bolts that hold it together back in their place. All right, moment of truth. Wow. They killed it, that looks good. Now we just gotta go through it and um, go through our settings. We need to add the new current mileage that we're gonna put in there. And on top of that, some other little goodies. So we'll go through that with you guys right now. So there is a ton of different things that you can do on here. I mean, we got pages after pages of different warnings you can put in there, uh, different setups, however you wanna do. But just to get you guys up and going with your new COSO uh, tachometer, I'm gonna show you just the simple uh, things you need. So to get into it, when you turn it on, the select button is the only button you're really gonna use. So let's go ahead and I'll bring you over here. We've already adjusted the time just to see how it works, but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit the select button, hold it down, and then it brings up your menu. If you look in your menu here you can see right now we're on the clock we've already adjusted this but if you want to adjust it you would just hold down the select button again now you can see that the 12 hour is blinking down there so if I wanted to change that I would just click like that and it changes it you only click it now to go to the next one you're gonna hold down and now you can see the two o'clock um, is flashing hold down again it'll take you to the next number Hold down again and I'll take you to the next number obviously once you're done you just hold it down and it's gonna bring you back to the outside of the menu or the selection area so let's go to our next one we have units that we're gonna use this is already in miles per hour so that's what we're gonna use because we are here in America and that's what we use our next one display brightness if you wanted to make it brighter or uh, darker you could do that we're gonna leave it right where it's at because it seems pretty nice plus we're not gonna know till we get outside now speedometer so this is actually where you can put in how um, like if you put brand new tires on there you can put that in there and it'll track your mileage and do your tire life which I've never even thought about using <laughs> so that's that's weird to me now we have gear um, this is kind of neat I'm gonna leave this on and you have to make it learn the gear so we'll come back to that in a little bit and I'll probably show you guys how to do that um, it'll just tell you what gear you're in, but there's a process you have to go through to get to it. So we'll do that in a second. Now we have the overspeed. Anyway, so that's a little speed warning. You can change that later. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, shift light, that'll tell you when to shift. We'll probably turn that off. 
Um, this will be interesting, the, the heat gauge. I actually like that because it'll let you know when your bike's getting super hot. But just so you guys know, when you're riding, your bike's hot. It is what it is. Trip, and uh, we'll get past that. The warning lights. So right here, again, we're gonna hold down the select button for three seconds. It's gonna bring this up, and this is where we're gonna put our mileage in, which is gonna be 31,635. And there is his mileage from the other odometer that we now have put in here. I'm gonna just go ahead and hold. And there it is. All right, and we just went back to the uh, main screen. As you guys can see now, the tachometer shows his mileage. And um, the other setting on there, it'll save how many miles have been done on this tachometer, along with adding up what we put in there for the total number altogether. Pretty neat. Aside from some of the technological stuff with installing the tachometer, that is a very easy plug and play setup. Anybody's gonna be able to do that and then you guys are gonna be rolling around with this really good looking tachometer. So until next time guys, later.